Now we're going to have a look at different types of breaks within a Microsoft Word document. Now a break, as far as Microsoft Word is concerned, means the start of something new. I'm going to make a list of the types of breaks we're going to look at. I'm going to look at a line break, paragraph break, page break, section break, and a column break. See, each one of these markers is a paragraph break. However, if I delete this paragraph break and hold down the Shift key and press Enter, it creates a line break instead. Now, these two separate lines are still part of the same paragraph. So if I change the alignment of one line, it will change the alignment of the other as well. Or is these all change the alignment independently. And that's the same for all of the paragraph formatting changes. Change one section, it'll change the other as well. Right, for a page break, I like to put in some random text. If I wanted to make sure that this paragraph always started on a brand new page, I would need to put in a page break. And I can do that either by holding down the control key and pressing enter, or by going onto the page layout tab, doing breaks and page break. This is the text that Microsoft Word puts in as the marker, page break. However, if I also wanted to be able to make fundamental changes to the second part of a document, for instance, the orientation of the page or the margins or the headers and the footers or the watermarks, then I would need to do a section break. So if I do break here and I'll do a next page section break. Now, the document before the section break can be formatted completely differently to the document after the section break. I'll illustrate that. If I zoom in so we can see the different parts more clearly, I click on this part of the document and change the orientation. It doesn't affect the first part of the document. If I wanted to affect the whole document, and not just one section, I would need to go into the extra options, change it to portrait, and then apply to the whole document. And then it will change the whole document in one go. The final type of break I'd like to look at is a column break. I'm going to highlight this text. and put that into three columns. Now this break here, incidentally, that it's created is another section break, but it's a continuous section break, so it doesn't force a new page. But any or any uh, text that you have after this point will effectively be a new section. But if I would like to create a column break, I can click at this point, do break, and column break, it will force a new column from that text just there. I click here again, breaks, column break, and it forces that to go into a new column. So you can very carefully manipulate what goes at the top of each column on new documents. And that concludes the talk on breaks.